Hi, hi everyone. This is Terry, Jody, Lee, and Steve here at Dragon Thrones Heroes. And uh, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves, but wanted to give you a glimpse into what's going on right now. Hi, I'm Jody Lee. Uh, my character is Queen Kaylina of Windover. Hi, I'm Steve. My character is King Polith of uh, Wendover as well. Awesome. And so last night was the beginning of this particular venture. We did five tabletop games. Now, I have never done a tabletop game before, and it comes with a piece of paper that tells all your strengths on various things. And I was utterly clueless about this. I've never done it. and. Everyone in my group was very kind about helping me understand, about making suggestions um, on what I could do at a particular juncture. And that made it much easier. I was a little nervous to start with. And I'm still not anywhere near an expert, but at least I know enough to fumble my way through. That's amazing. I know going to a tabletop event and having no prior experience could be really intimidating. So knowing that it was your first tabletop and the people were friendly and helped you make through it and you had a good time is yes. really important. And in fact, with lots of suggestions and help, I actually created around this evil monster, a snow globe. A snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> and I killed it with cold because it was sensitive to cold. And so we encased it and put it in a snow globe and killed it. My first monster. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what she doesn't I don't tell you is that 260 damage points off of this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> we went to five different uh, areas to look for uh, allies, to look for artifacts, to equip ourselves to better fight the Forgotten. Uh, we, started, we started out in a blighted forest, moving then to a, a destroyed laboratory uh, underneath the Helfarian lab, labs. We went from there to a deserted castle in Lancaster, where they did, leave, did not leave any wine, which doesn't surprise me. And then we went to the mines in the Crystal Mountains north of Airedale, and we ended up in the crag down south of Sadathia, uh, looking through the laboratories of an ancient arcanist. Nice. So we've heard about one of Jody Lee's favorite moments with the snow globe. Do you have a favorite moment you'd like to point out? I think the favorite moment I had was in the first uh, mission where we were still getting used to each other with the rough edges. And uh, we had made our way into, through a rift to where moon elves were. And we helped to defend the moon elves and, and they were very uh, glad of our help. However, our necromancer from Ardmore uh, got a little bit testy with the, uh, uh, the, the moon elf general and they were trading quips back and forth, which seemed to be a sort of flirting. So. It'll be interesting to see what goes on here in the future. That sounds interesting. So now we're here today at Arcadia University where we have this beautiful castle behind us. And what types of things are you expecting or looking forward to today? I am a lover of music and a singer of songs. So I am looking for a library filled with music in order to further my objectives and perhaps complete my quest. That sounds awesome. For the both of us in the last Dragon Thrones, we sort of uh, uh, accepted the role of father and mother for the, for the Elven Coalition. And two of our daughters are missing in the Feylock. And I intend to go get them and bring them back to Taylor Highwater. That sounds like a great journey to go on. And I know we're anxious to get them back. Yes, and we should, many of us shall be assisting with that. Keeper, I spoke with the library itself, which did indeed deign to speak with me and was quite kind. I spoke with the book that I sought, and indeed the book and I found great affinity <coughs> over cats, which was quite amusing, and convinced the book to open and give me the song of freeing, which is a very simple song, and I sing it for you now.
supposed to rise. But I will do everything I can to protect all of you. This I promise you today. For now, all of you will hopefully grant you safe passage through this. 
whatever happens to me, know you will always be my friends. Hi, this is Terry with Steve and Jody Lee, and uh, we just concluded Dragon Thrones. Wanted to take a quick moment to update everyone. This is Steve, Terlef, and Wendover. And Jody Lee, uh, Helena of Wendover. And today was dramatic. Sorry. There were a number of events. There was always something to do. Uh, there were quests to go on with groups of people. There were individual scenarios where you and one or two other people could go try and accomplish an objective, a, a personal objective. There were times that we could go and learn spells that might help us with other things. There were large group scenes um, of action that we went and watched. There were deaths. Another, another two people were stabbed in large role-playing scenes. There was a, a tabletop mega game uh, where the final battle occurred with the militaries of all the uh, all the different houses. Uh, there was a nice lunch. There was a fabulous dinner. There was mead. And there were some very strong uh, personal role-playing and emotional uh, emotional highlights. Can you share one of your favorite memories from this weekend? Dying? Dying? Dying. I, I killed him. Oh. I was, I was infected with a, a taint from an evil being, and the only way to get rid of that taint was to kill me. Uh, I, and I needed to be killed before I killed other people. The taint uh, sent you and made you a murdering maniac. So my good wife killed me. Better be killed by those you love. And then I went on a mission, uh, a one on one mission with uh, the GM to decide how I was going to come back. And I chose to come back to life, rejecting the evil. That sounds epic. My favorite time was when, I, so many of my objectives were involved in seeking um, a series of things. And I had put all of those things together and uh, had a major scene in front of the group where I sang the songs of freedom and the songs of remembrance for the creature everyone was assuming was completely evil. And I managed to awaken it to the fact that not all of it was evil. There was good there as well. And that was the beginning of the resolution of that sounds amazing. And just to give you a view, uh, this is the throne that they're sitting in. This is the source of power for the Dark Tower. And as you can see, this is considered the Room of Mirrors. And the architecture and everything here is beautiful. And this is located at Arcadia University.